Okay, everybody. Today I am going to do a viewer suggested video. Uh, one of my viewers wrote me and said that they tried making a paucho noodle with the uh, sausage and gravy stuff and the paucho noodle, and they said it came out really good. And since I am short on breakfast, options I thought that I would try that so here we go let's get this opened and see what we can do there we go does that look good or what that certainly that certainly smells like soft sausage and gravy so looking at the uh, contents of this it's water pork then soybean oil and it says that a serving size is a quarter of a cup which is 62 grams and the total fat per serving is 7 grams so 10% of 62 grams would be 6.2 grams. That would be 10% fat. So we're looking about 11, 10 to 11% in between there percent fat. So we don't know how long this is going to store. I am going to be vacuum seal my bags with an extra O2 absorber in there. And hopefully I can get five years out of it, maybe ten. That's what we're going to shoot for. But I don't think you'd get 20 years out of this. But I'm an old man. I just turned 60. So uh, if I got 10 years out of this, I'd be really happy. So here we go. Let me get my uh, trays out and we're going to get this trade up. Okay, so we got our trays ready here. I'm going to use my rectangular ones. Cause I kind of like those and we are just going to fill these up Okay, so there we have it. That is one tray. Now we are going to do two of these blocks per um, package, per meal. So as long as I end up with a multiple of two, we'll be all right. So I will continue traying this up and we'll see you when I take them out of the freezer maybe I'm going to freeze these solid and then pop them out of the mold and then we'll see how many yeah well I'll show you I'll record myself taking them out of the mold and we'll see how many of these squares we get per tray and stay within our minimum weight our maximum weight so I'll see you then okay so we are ready to tray this stuff up I got my tray on here zeroed out I'm shooting for eight discs on here. 
Okay, that's two pounds, point zero four, which is very nice. Let's get our pack of ramen noodles out. Not worry too much about the weight of this because we know that it is probably 99.999% dry. But I like to be careful. Overly cautious. Okay, so that don't fit. There's a way I put it on here that it fits. One, two. That's two servings. That's four servings, and I got one, two, three, four. I got four servings there. So that works out. Perfect. Like that. And we're still under the two and a half pounds. We're at 2.38, so that's good. So that's how I'm going to lay them out. There you go. So there is... 12 servings ready to go in the freeze dryer. I have one empty tray that I can put in there with something else and I've been trying to do a lot of uh, milk freeze dried for emergency situations so I always just have some milk ready in a tray in my freezer and I'll just pop that in the fourth slot. So next time you see this it'll be coming out. Okay there we have it. 12 servings of country sausage gravy pouch of noodles so we're going to pack it up so for each pouch I'm going to put two of these squares in and one of the noodles I tell everybody on every video for now what I do is I zip lock that shut get get this out of the uh, environment especially during the summer like it is now get it out of the humidity so I'll package them all that way and then I'll go back and I will open these up and throw in a 300 cc O2 absorber but in this case I'm going to put two because of the fat and do a heat seal on it There's my, you hear my freeze dryer popping because it is defrosting. All right, so let me get this done and I'll come back and we'll do a taste test. And there you have it, 12 packs of country sausage gravy, heat sealed, vacuum sealed with a two 300 cc absorbers in each package. This vacuum chamber really does a great job on getting that and it can can use it for so much more than what for just than just a mylar I do my jars my mylar and then I do my art in the chamber as well so if you're interested in checking that out how I do this I do have a video showing you how to vacuum seal jars and vacuum seal mylar bags using this vacuum chamber pot and I just find that a lot easier than uh, having to defrost my freeze dryer 
remove the rack, unplug the rack, clean it, dry it all out because you don't want to put vacuum seal in, in a wet chamber before I can vacuum seal this. This allows me to do this pretty quickly from stopping the freeze dryer to packaging. So there you have it. I'll get this all put away and then we'll come back and do a taste test. Okay, that's all put away. I boiled the kettle and I'm ready to do a taste test. So let's open this up. it looks like on the inside I did put two O2 absorbers in there because I was worried about the fat and now I did chicken a la king not that long ago and that had a thick sauce and I added a cup of water and it turned out to be a chicken a la king soup really a chicken soup and I want this gravy to be a little bit thicker so I am going to try that gets hot. I want you to notice the, which side the uh, noodles are on, which is my right hand side. I'm going to try putting in a half a cup of water and see if that's enough. So I put a half a cup of hot, hot water straight, almost straight from the kettle, boiling. We'll zip lock that shut. And I'm going to put that on the side so the noodles are laying in the water. The noodles are on that the bottom side there. So hopefully that's enough water to reconstitute those. So I'll let that sit for two minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, that's been two minutes. Let's see what happened with those noodles. Okay, stir that up. Now that is still a bit dry for me. So I'm going to add another quarter of a cup. Okay, we'll seal that up. And let that sit for another two minutes. I'll see you in a minute. Two minutes. Okay, that's been another two minutes for a total of four minutes. Let's see what we got. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's looking good. Okay, so handy dandy with these meal pouches that I get from topmylar.com you can eat this right out of the pouch and if you buy go to shop at topmylar.com if you shop there you can uh, don't forget you can use promotion code bibs B -I -B -S, and save five dollars on fifty dollars or more order but for the video I like to pour that out so you can see what it looks like the consistency so here we go what do you think of that let's get a nice close-up of that okay let's dig in smells good 
Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That's pretty good. Definitely three quarters of a cup of water. Don't you want you don't want to put the full cup in there? Because that would have turned soupy. But that's nice and thick. Mmm. That was good. That gravy's thick enough to stick to the noodles and that'll stick to your stomach too. Give you a nice good breakfast feeling. Mmm. Mm. You know what? That is a winner big time. I'd like to thank my viewer. I, I won't give his name out because he might not want me to share it. But he, he, he suggested this. He actually did it and said it was good. And I asked him if I could copy his idea. And he gave me permission. So here you have it. This is absolutely delicious. Mmm. That is better than I thought it would be. There you have it. That's actually quite an easy one for you to do. Another success from John and Bibbs. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.